Attention, please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles, G. Pitchell. Follow us. of the visible spectrum. Underneath is the word central. On a studio set decorated with hundreds of white bulb lights, two families wait behind long lecterns facing each other. The words family fortunes in jagged 80s style blue lettering adorn both sides of the set. The studio audience and contestants applaud. A computerized board hangs at the back with the words family fortunes on it in 80s graphics. It's family fortunes with Roy. No. Gordon, Margaret and Brian, the Alcorn family from Northern Ireland, they're playing Derek, Bernie, Trish, Jenny and Imelda, the Cannon family from Derby. And here is your host, Les Dennis. Wearing a navy blazer and white trousers and a navy and purple striped tie, Les smiles as he makes his way to the front of the stage. He takes a postcard from his pocket. Thank you and good evening. Guess what? I've had a postcard. From remember last week, Di, the Welshman who won all that lovely luggage. Well, he couldn't wait to use it, and he's, he's gone to Tenerife. <laughs> His luggage has gone to Sweden. <laughs> and Mike, do you remember Mike on the same team? He did all that disco dancing, eh? The Saturday Night Fever. Just shows you what family fortunes can do for you, because in the week since then, he's made a film. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> yes. Honestly, he's made a film. The chemist said all 36 prints came out really well. <laughs> Enough about that. Let's get on with the game and meet the family. <laughs> Les walks over to the Alcorn family. Hiya. We've got we've got the Alcorn family. Brian, hi, Brian. Where are you from? Hi, I'm from Lomavady in County Londonderry in Northern Ireland. Oh, Northern Ireland! I love that accent. It's a great yes. wee accent, that isn't it? The wee Northern Ireland accent, great. <laughs> Introduce us to your family, Brian. This is uh, my sister Margaret. Hi, Margaret. Hello. My brother Roy. Hi, Roy. My brother Gordon. Hello, Gordon. And my brother Noel. Hi, Noel. How are you doing? All right. It's great to see you. Good. <laughs> what do you do, Brian? I'm a dispatch control clerk in a sportswear factory in, in Coleraine. In a sportswear? Yes. You cannot be serious! <laughs> yes. You are! <laughs> yes. And you play a lot of sport, don't you? You play football? Yes. It says here that you broke your leg, wrist, hand, toe, nose and arm. That's correct, yes. Yeah. Friendly but not game. all the one time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not all the one time. No. <laughs> it wasn't all the same game. Yeah. And you answer to the nickname of Lucky. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you, Brian. Hi, I'm Margaret. Hello. You like keep fit as well, don't you? Yes. And romantic novels. Yes. All at the same time. <laughs> oh no. I'll just sit on the exercise bike and turn, turn the page over. <laughs> just get to that good bit round here. So, so you you read a lot of romantic novels, all the Barbara do, Cartland yeah. stuff and that, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, great. Hi, Roy. Hello. What do you do? I work on a. <laughs> I work in a, sp a sportswear factory. In a sportswear factory. factory. <laughs> The same factory? Yeah. So what do you do? I examine the sportswear that goes to Brian. So you check his workout? Or he checks your workout? Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff, Roy. Hiya, Gordon. Uh, what do you do? I work in the same factory. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> I check his work. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> You check his workout, you do the workout, and then you check the workout that they've done, the workout that... <laughs> it's all in the family, anyway. What's this about as well that I've got down here about you when you threw a stone in the air? Tell us about that. Uh, it wasn't a stone, it was actually a brick. It was a brick? You threw a brick in the air? Uh, yeah. I just picked it up and threw it up. Yeah. And I walked away and looked around to see if it come and hit me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Will you do it again? Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Hiya, Noel. Hi, Noel. What do you do? Don't well, tell me. <laughs> I'm a guillotine operator and a printing works. You're a guillotine operator? Yeah. Oh, I so, so if his work's no good, <laughs> and his work's no good, and his work's no good, you, you get the basket out and chop the heads off. <laughs> and give them a message, and they can read it later if it's in the basket. So you're a guillotine operator? Yeah. And a printing works. In a printing works. Yeah. But you don't throw any bricks in the air. No. <laughs> That's great. There we go. There we've got the Alcorn family. Let's go over and meet the Keenan family. Les walks over to the Keenan family. Imelda, that's 
Where are you from, Imelda? Derby. Derby. Right, do you want to introduce us to your family? It's my sister, Bernie. Hi, Bernie. Hi. My sister, Trisha. Trish, hiya. Hi. My sister, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. My brother, Derek. Hiya, pleased to meet you. Imelda, when we were asking you to uh, talk about yourself, you put down here that you're really boring. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lovely laugh. Fancy writing that, that you're really boring? <laughs> Tell us about yourself. Imelda's unable to control her laughter. <laughs> She's off. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> really, really boring, <laughs> that! <laughs> it's got Bernie going. Bernie. <laughs> you like the Mavis impression, don't you? I've only got to do the Mavis and Bernie just... <laughs> Bernie creases with laughter. <laughs> <laughs> that's a member of your family, and they're laughing as well. Bernie. <laughs> What do you do for a living? I'm an amusement controller. <laughs> You're an amusement controller? <laughs> you can't control your laughter, though, can you, Ben? Where's that? In a, in a fun fair or something? It's an uh, American Adventure theme park. A theme park? Great stuff. Hi, Trish. Hello. What do you do? I'm a junior secretary. A junior <laughs> secretary, yeah? And I work for a company called Chemco Measuring Systems. Chemco, Chemco. Measuring Systems? Yeah. What, what do you make? They make coordinate measuring machines. Coordinate measuring machines? Yeah. What are they? I don't know. <laughs> well, I've got it down here that it's scales. But it isn't. It isn't. <laughs> Imagine going into a shop and asking, can I have some coordinating <laughs> measuring systems? Oh, it's a lot more complicated. Oh, it's more complicated than that, of course Upper it is. Class. Upper class, great. <laughs> nice to see you, Trish. Hi, Jenny, what do you do? I'm a secretary for an engineering firm. Not, the, no, not for the scales? No. 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 So you're a secretary. How yes. many words can you type in a minute? I don't know, about 50. About 50? Yeah. I can do 51. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really. Yeah. I've got down here that you got knocked out in a disco. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you also were shot by an arrow once. <laughs> yeah? Smashing great, super air. Well, good balls on. <laughs> Is that right? You were shot by an arrow? Yeah, when I was little, my older brother just just kind of... I was just walking in the way and the arrow seemed to oh. go right in my, in my chest. For a laugh he did it, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> We've got two accident-prone families here, haven't we? Football, also, there's all sorts going on here. Hiya, Derek, what do you Please do? Me. I'm a yarn allocator manager. A yarn allocator manager? What's that, then? Is that...? It's uh, coordinating yarn to be knit into jumpers. Oh, yarn, as in... I thought you meant yeah. that you wrote scripts for politicians. <laughs> Anyway, that's the family's Let's Play Family Fortunes. Brian and Imelda take their places at the central lectern with Les. Imelda versus Brian, OK. Right, 100 people surveyed, you know the rules. We've got 100 people surveyed, as I said, and the top eight answers are on the board. We want you to try and find those answers. Press your buzzer if you feel you have an answer. Right, can you name any item you keep in the fridge? Brian. Milk. Milk. You keep the milk in the fridge. Milk. Well done, it's a top answer. Do you want to play or pass? Good play. You're going to play. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Alcorn family, no conferring, but the Kieran family can, of course, confer. Margaret. Cheese. 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 <laughs> Cheese, the third most popular answer. Well done. Roy. Eggs. Eggs. You keep edg eggs in the fridge, don't you? Eggs. <laughs> you wouldn't expect that, would you? One life lost, Gordon. Uh, butter. Butter. Butter to put on your head. <laughs> <laughs> After the bricks hit you. <laughs> butter. Yeah, well done. Second most popular answer. 20 people said butter. Noel. Meat. Meat. Yeah. Let's have a look if meat's there. Yeah, well done. Going well, only one life lost. Brian. Ice cubes. Ice cubes. The ice. Yeah, well done. Margaret. Uh, cold drinks. Cold drinks, fizzy drinks, lemonade. cold drinks, lemonade. Cold drinks, Margaret thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret thinks. <laughs> cold drinks. <laughs> Beer. <laughs> well done. Roy. Ham. Something you keep in the fridge. Ham. Ham. <coughs> no, so two lives lost, you see. Right, OK. So the Kieran, Kieran family got a chance to maybe steal the money. Uh, cream. Gordon, cream. We've got the milk. We're looking for... Cream. <coughs> no, so that's three lives lost. The Kiernan and family, you've maybe got a chance to steal. Salad. Salad. If salad is one of those two missing answers, you have that 94 pounds that's in the bank. 
Salad. No, so you've won the money. Well done. Well done, Brian. Les shakes Brian by the hand, then casually stands looking up at the answer board. Right, the eighth most popular answer of things that you keep in the fridge is... Fruit. And the fifth most popular. Any ideas from our studio audience? Bacon. 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 And any ideas at home? That's a good one. <laughs> Let's have a look. The fifth most popular thing that you keep in the fridge is ice cream. OK, let's play Family Fortunes. The next two contestants join Les. Bernie McMarwood. Right, 100 people have been surveyed and the top six answers are on the board. Can you name an activity which could be hazardous or dangerous in a nudist camp? Bernie. Darts. Darts. Bernie thinks darts. <coughs> no, one life lost. Margaret. Uh, playing cricket. Playing cricket. Let's have a look if cricket's there. Yes, well done. It's the most popular answer. Do you want to play or pass? She looks at her family. Play. You going to play? Play. OK, let's go back to the family, the Alcorn family. No conferring, but of course the Kiernan family can confer. Roy, an activity which could be hazardous or dangerous in a nudist camp. Wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> could be fun, I suppose, couldn't it? Wrestling! <coughs> no, so one life lost. Gordon. Rugby. Rugby. <laughs> Rugby! <coughs> no, so two lives lost. The Keenan family maybe have a chance to steal. Noel. Snooker. Snooker. <laughs> <laughs> Snooker. <coughs> no, so the Keenan family have maybe got a chance to steal the money, the ten pounds in the bank. Rock climbing. Rock climbing. If, <laughs> if, <laughs> if rock climbing is that missing answer, I'll give you the money myself. <laughs> Rock climbing. <laughs> no, so once again, you've won the money. You've got the money. <laughs> OK. Let's reveal those missing answers, the things that people think would be hazardous in a nudist camp. <laughs> the sixth most popular answer is... <laughs> fencing. <laughs> it's the creosote, you know. <laughs> the fifth is... <laughs> tennis. <laughs> tennis. <laughs> Fifteen love. And the fourth is leapfrog. <laughs> the second one is the high jump. <laughs> you could shatter your personal best. And the first most popular answer was cooking barbecue, frying bacon, and all that kind of stuff. I was waiting for the men's relay. <laughs> <laughs> OK.